But from our perspective, ours is where we're introducing it as a software as a service. So when you have it as a software as a service, then it becomes very different. Um, so it becomes very different from um, a new area for Cisco. Because Cisco is essentially you know, a hardware-based company. It's a box company, right? So open source is something that you do on generic electronics or, soft, or, or semiconductors. Whereas software as a service is a totally new area that Cisco is getting into with respect to how do you then help customers with capability that can be upgraded on a constant basis. So we release software every three weeks and it's on the cloud. So it's as opposed to an open source, you're really talking about something that's on the cloud. So then the operators or their customers, the OEMs, get the latest software depending upon whether it's released in China, you could get it in India. If it's released in the US, you can get it in China. It's the same source of software that's on every partner. The only difference then, it, localization is very important because then that wireless operator needs to say there's a local requirement. The software capability exists but the network integration is what we'd have to do uniquely for that particular market to turn on the capability. So your time to market is going to not necessarily three weeks, right? Because it is going to be longer because you have to then integrate with the actual network operator. And the network operator would make that decision based on the need in that particular local market.